What's going on YouTube? July from JohnTheMarker.com here, back again with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can actually get a pill button on ClickFunnels. So this is something that involves CSS, but this is something that really uh, makes your pages look modern and clean. So I'm going to show you how to do that. But before we do that, um, definitely subscribe and hit that alert button so you know when I post a new video. Um, I post a lot of different content um, every single day, so you definitely want to be uh, in the know when I post a new video. So let's actually go right into it. So on your screen right here, you see one of my landing pages and um, you see this button here, how it has a circular end, right? Whereas a normal button is more of a square end. So ClickFunnels actually does have um, the option to kind of round out your, uh, your buttons. However, it doesn't give you the full functionality. Like for example, if we go um, into this page here, um, and we click on edit page I'll show you what I mean by this so if we go to this button we go to settings and we go to advanced and we go to corners you can see there's a three percent there's a four uh, percent you can see it's slightly uh, moved five percent again uh, slightly moved and if you go to 10 again 15 again but then it goes all the way up to 50 which does this which looks kind of weird and not really clean so um, a way to fix that is to use CSS, so we're gonna we're gonna do that. Um, so I already have have it uh, created. So what we're gonna do though is we're gonna go to our sales page, and I'm just gonna grab the code so you can see how this works actually. Um, so it's a button code. So when you're coding CSS for ClickFunnels and you're trying to affect the button, um, what you're gonna need to do. Um, it's quite a bit of CSS in here. So you see this open uh, opening code bracket is um, dot L button, okay? So what we need to do is we need to actually grab um, we need to grab we can grab all of this actually and then we can um, we can adjust it to our actual button. So let's go back exit out of here and then what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to our free ebook opt-in page and we're going to click on edit page um, and we're going to go to custom CSS and then we're just going to drop this in here and you can see that it immediately um, went into a gradient because I have a gradient code in there but also it made these round so if we were to remove the gradient, all we, all we would need to do is remove this code here. Um, and then that shall remove the gradient. So then our button is just the blue that we had before. And if we want to remove this orange like overlay, um, we can remove that as well. So if you go back down, as you can see it says dot L button hover. All we do is remove this. Um, and then we should be good to go so it doesn't actually move anymore uh, and that's pretty much it that's how you would round out your button so that it looks really clean and modern um, and then you can just click save the page if you wanted to actually keep the gradient I have a video showing you how to add gradients to different sections uh, but this also that also applies to buttons as well um, I'll post this code down below so that you can actually use this code but if you have any questions let me know and if you haven't subscribed definitely subscribe um, and hit that alert button so you know when I post a new video um, I'm always posting a video and I'm going to be posting a lot more frequently. I'm hiring some VAs to kind of help with the, the, the content uploading, but also the social media aspect of uh, my channel. So I'm really excited about that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next video.